Evening guys, welcome back to TM Cycles' channel. As you can see from the footage behind me, I've been really getting into the reporting side and the whole reporting, bodybuilding and health and fitness. Uh, sort of changing things up a bit, sorry. What's that mate? What do you mean Sean Thompson's already done that? Oh fuck. Um, how about a 10,000 fruit and veg calorie challenge? Already done that. Alright, not to worry. Only joking there guys, just a little bit of banter. Uh, poor old Sean Thompson, eh? Can't do anything right, it seems. He's done uh, too many day in the diets and people get bored. He changes things up a bit. Comes out with a bodybuilding documentary and everyone mugs him for it. Can't win. Anyway, on to today's video, which as it says below, is whey protein bad for you? No, it isn't. Just keep watching and you'll understand why. And what really is inside our whey protein that we drink? Now, for anyone that's been living in a cave for the past 2,000 years, just a brief description of what whey protein is. Whey protein is derived from cheese. It's basically, basically the liquid byproduct from cheese. It has the highest biological value of 100, even though supplement companies tend to sort of make a big deal out of it, even though it's not such a big thing. And it is also a, a complete protein, meaning it contains all of the essential amino acids. If you go onto Google or Ask Jeeves, even though no one uses that site anymore, and type in, is whey protein bad for you, a flurry of sites will come up demonising whey protein. I've managed to pull a couple of sites up, starting with Coach Calorie, who has six reasons as to why we should all stop taking whey protein. Starting with point number one, he says whey protein powder is processed. So he's putting whey protein powder in the same category as the shitty McDonald's and the shitty food that is processed in KFC and things like that. His second point is that it spikes insulin levels. Now I don't know why it's a bad thing. You need your insulin levels to be spiked after training anyway. Training alone does that. So you can get the vital nutrients into the muscle tissue. His third point on his site says that whey protein lacks vital nutrients such as carbohydrates and fat. That's the whole point of a fucking whey protein. It's not supposed to contain fat and carbohydrate. Hence the title. His fourth point, and I can sort of agree with him on this one, is that you don't need it to reach your goals. Granted, you do not need a whey protein to reach your ideal physique. However, it is an added bonus, an extra way of getting that extra amount of protein in your diet. His fifth point on his site says that whey protein is way too expensive. People spend between $150 and $200 a month on whey protein. Now that in English pounds is about 150 quid a month on whey. If I'm spending 150 notes on whey protein a month, I expect to be getting liquid gold delivered with that. Another site that I came across is by Savory Lotus. Their site contains three ugly truths about whey protein. One of their points was that eating concentrated protein without saturated fats is harmful to your health. Now these people in their head, in their fucked up head, actually believe that people have just whey protein for breakfast, lunch, dinner and snacks in between each meal. No one does that. The general population now understands that whole food is better than whey protein and whey protein is generally just used after training. Their third point is what I'm going to come on to in a minute and it's talking about the artificial sweeteners and about how they can cause cancer. Before I get into the whole artificial sweetener and cancer side, I just want to pull up a point by BioTrust who says that whey protein is dark side. The first point about why whey protein is bad is because the absorption rate. They say because you can only absorb 8 grams an hour, which is true. Because there is an anabolic window, any protein absorbed after an hour and a half is wasted. Not the fucking anabolic window again. The worst thing about these sites is that if you scroll to the bottom, oh look, they're trying to promote their own fucking product. They're vegetarian and vegan friendly BioTrust bollocks. Here's one for the vegetarians. What the fuck are these for? These are for cutting down meat like the cavemen did. Anyway, I do want to address the point of the whole aspartame artificial sweetener side and do they cause cancer or not. Now, the National Cancer Institute did a great article on their website explaining the link between artificial sweeteners and cancer. Obviously, there isn't one, but the whole reason as to why this came about was a 1970s study that linked saccharin with the development of bladder cancer in rats. Congress then mandated this and made food companies that contain saccharin in their products put on their label it may be harmful to us humans. However, scientists then found out that the mechanism in which the substance worked in the rat's body different, differed completely to us humans. And then within the human studies and trials found no cancer or any affiliation to cancer whatsoever. Now onto aspartame, which is a very popular sweetener within whey protein. People thought that aspartame could give you cancer. However, a study in 2005 that had rats fed very high doses of aspartame, equivalent to drinking 2,000 cans of Diet Coke, showed no increases in cancer cases 
with the increase of aspartame. So even if you were going to drink 2,800 cans of Diet Coke a day, you still won't get cancer. And it was also approved in 1981 by the FDA after numerous tests showed that it did not cause cancer or other adverse effects in laboratory animals or humans. You will also see asulfame K and sucralose in your whey protein shakes. The National Cancer Institute site says here that asulfame K and sucralose was approved by the FDA FDA in 1988 and again in 1999 following its approval as a general purpose sweetener. So there you go, is whey protein harmful to us humans? Absolutely fucking not. So go and bung eight scoops of whey protein in your shaker and have a good evening. I run out of protein so it's a pointless sketch me having that empty water bottle.